Wasps, Flankers and Caribbean Delights are just some of the new releases to grace the simulation world last week. Hi there folks, my name's Nova Wing 24 and welcome to the Nova Wrap, your one-stop location for all your simulation release news and goings on from the week that was. So here we are on Sunday the 28th of July for another action-packed episode and we're going to jump straight into it with the latest release from Microsoft of their uh, World Update series with the release of World Update 17, United Kingdom and Island. So this is once again a free content update for the sim and it comes with a bunch of new photogrammetry cities using the new technologies that, are, that we've seen. The team over at Asobo and Microsoft starting to roll out over the last couple of world updates with their TIN data. So it includes 16 all new TIN photogrammetry cities, 79 POIs as well as 5 new handcrafted airports. And what was interesting with this one is that um, although the release is uh you know great britain and northern ireland uh, sorry uh, is uh, is uh, the uk and ireland uh they also extended out to uk territories overseas including gibraltar which was uh definitely uh, something that i was both surprised and very happy to see so uh you get 16 tin cities and in fact gibraltar is one of those tin cities uh you also get uh, liverpool newcastle wembley uh bristol brighton edinburgh and a bunch more including uh 79 pois as i said 31 in England, 13 in Ireland, 5 in the Isle of Man, 11 in Northern Ireland, 1 in the Orkneys, uh, 9 in Scotland, 10 in Wales, along with 5 handcrafted airports, uh, which was an interesting ch a couple of choices this one. So we get Farnborough, uh, Lon London Stansted, uh, Cork, uh, Sun Sunberg Airport in Scotland, as well as Cardiff Airport in Wales. So uh, a nice little selection covering uh, a large part of the UK and Ireland, as well as uh, one of the uh, unique overseas territories of the UK. Now, of course, once again, folks, this is a free update to the community available via the InSim Marketplace available now. And of course, it wouldn't be a world update if Microsoft didn't release a local legend to go along with it. And of course, they've released once again uh, a new local legend, Local Legend 18, with the release of the Westland Scout and Wasp, uh, brought to us in conjunction by the with the team over at Anybuilds. So the Westland Scout and Western Wasp is a fascinating little helicopter, uh, originally starting life as a Saunders Row P531 prototype uh, before Westland uh, took over the helicopter arm of Saunders Row back in the 19. I want to say the 1950s, 1960s, I think. And it was and it served as a base airframe for what would go on to be a fairly ubiquitous helicopter that would go on and serve with um, mostly the British forces, but with other forces around the world as well. So with this one, um, you get the Scout is primarily is a is basically a skid-based version and primarily the land-based version, whereas the Wasp was a uh, navalized variant of that one with wheels rather than skids. Now you can pick this release up for 15 US dollars or your original equivalent available now from the in sim marketplace continuing on with microsoft flight simulator aircraft releases now the team over at dc designs have released their long talked about and long awaited flanker uh to take on their uh top you know, to be the opponent instead of the uh tomcat and eagle already in the dc designs lineup uh with the release of their su-27 flanker so this gives us a highly detailed rendition of the aircraft again with an excellent 3d model uh providing us with a like really customized internal flight customized internal avionics and systems uh, as well as a fully inter in, uh, fully operational drag shoot system which is kind of cool which we I think we first saw on the uh, on the SC Designs F5 Tiger 2 uh, fully controllable AIG limiters uh, enabling you to do the correct procedures for the Cobra and Tail Slide maneuvers which of course the flanker is most known for uh, along with custom model behaviors custom coded avionics a full interactive checklist and a full customized sound set recorded in WYs from a real SU-27 flanker uh, the cockpit has been fully labelled in a Cyrillic Russian text, as the aircraft would be in real life, uh, but it does have all its tooltips in English. So if you hover your mouse over it, you will know what it is that you are actually looking at, and you don't have to go learn another language. Uh, various uh, external animations, uh, various paint schemes are included, and overall a solid release once again from the team over at DC Designs. Now, if you wanted to pick this one up, you can pick this one up for $27 US or your original equivalent, available now from JustFly. 
Lights and from shortly from the NSIM marketplace. Rounding out the Microsoft Flight Simulator releases this week, the team over at eBuilds appear once again with the releasing of their latest scenery release of their release of Dubrovnik Selipi Airport in Croatia. Uh, so this is a popular airport, possibly the popular destination, particularly during the summer periods uh, as people make their way for uh, for holidays uh, in Europe. Uh, includes custom ground poly, custom ground textures and the custom layout of the airport as it appears at the start of 2024. Uh, custom interiors of the main air of the main terminal, uh, along with full use of the full support for GSX profiles, uh, as well as bespoke taxi signage and custom ground poly, as I said before. Now, if you want to add this one and pick this one up to your collection, you can pick this one up for $20 US or your original equivalent available now from any builds. Moving out of the world of Microsoft Flight Simulator, moving into now into the world of X-Plane. Uh, so the team over at 3D Real Studios have released their latest scenery release for the release of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. So a small chain of Caribbean islands, uh, it, which is known for being a holiday, holiday destination, uh, with a chain of 32 islands, eight of them being inhabited, with five of them having an airport, and all airports are modelled. Along with this, you also get custom uh, auto imagery for all of the island chain, custom runways, custom uh, terrain elevation data has been provided uh, with over 100 typical uh, typical buildings for the areas being supplemented for the autogen for the area. It includes hand placements of forests and uh, various uh, trees across the island as well as full support for night textures uh, and, and various 3D objects pr uh, produced out of the options. So if you want to pick this one up and add this one to your collection, you can pick this one up for $25 US or your original equivalent available now from xplane.org. Moving out of the world of flight simulation now and moving into the world of the permanent way. So the team over at Just Trains released for Train Simulator Classic this week, uh, their rendition of the Wessex Mainline Southampton to Salisbury Extension route. Uh, so this is a uh, small route, which is uh, very, very picturesque, uh, includes a number of landmarks, adding 36 miles to the original route uh, between Re Re Redbridge and Romsey, as well as the line from Romsey, uh, Romsey to via Eastleigh and Chandler's Ford. So along with this 36 mile route extension, you also get a number of rolling stocks. You get the class 66, class 159 and class 165 locomotives are included uh, with a number of associated rolling stocks, uh, as well as realistic uh, landscape and local scenery with authentic stations, signals and trackside signage, along with 10 career driven scenarios. Now, if you want to pick this one up, add this one to your collection, you can pick this one up for 40 US dollars or your original equivalent available now from Steam. And moving sideways a little bit into from Train Sim Classic into Train Sim World 4 to round out the Nova this week. Uh, the team over at Skyhawk Games via Dovetail Games have released their rendition of the Scott Rail British Rail Class 158 Sprinter Diesel Motive Unit. Uh, so this is a highly different rendition of the Class 158 uh, as, as it appears in the Scottish Rail liveries. Along with a custom code, uh, along with a custom timetable, uh, full integrated, highly detailed modeling of different headlights, integrated snow plow, and a revised cab layout uh, with true to life performance and handling, uh, with three scenarios, each for the Scott Rail Express Edinburgh to Glasgow line and the Fife Circle line. Uh, so, look, I, I, I'll be honest, I don't have Train Sim World um, series. I have Train Sim Classic, but I don't have Train Sim World, so I haven't really tried, I haven't tried any of the content for Train Sim World 4, but it's been interesting just reading some of the community reviews for this one, which have not been positive of this release, uh, basically saying that it's a reskin of a uh, pre previous uh, locomotive of the similar. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot of negative feedback coming from the community this one. As I said, I'm not fully across the train sim sort of community um, because I only play I only play train sim, train sim classic um, but if you have your thoughts of this one I'd love to hear what you have to say let me know down in the comments down below but if you're wanting to get this uh, class 158 sprinter DMU add-on you can pick this one up for 17 US dollars or your original equivalent available now on Steam and with that folks that does now round out the Nova app for this week thank you very much for watching don't forget as always to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed these videos and want to see more and of course as always you can catch up with me and all the things I'm up to between videos by finding me on Facebook and on Twitter and on Twitch just search Nova 24 alright folks thanks very much for watching take care safe skies to all and we'll see you next time bye for now